Just look, call me as soon as you hear anything. Sam, Van, Van, uh, producer, executive producer. Sam, Van, Van, Van Sant. I know you get this all the time, but I've got a great idea. So does everyone. I mean it. Who's your main character? A writer. Not interested. No, 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 no. This isn't that hyper-intelligent writer movie. Yeah, have until we reach my floor. It's about a writer, kind of like me, who meets his film exec, kind of like you, in an elevator exactly like this. It's not glamorous. It's not even scary. Yeah. So she follows this producer. Let's call him Sam. Watches his wife, Laura, his daughter, Cece, at their house in the Hollywood Hills. Their house comfortably wedged between William Shatner's and Charlton Heston's. You've been to my house? <laughs> You're jumping ahead. So she gets the Sam in the elevator, and before he has time to think, she drugs him. And kidnaps him. Second act. This woman tells Sam how she goes to his lovely home in the hills and how easily it is to get in. How his daughter sat on her lap while her own mother was bleeding to death in the kitchen, choking on her own blood. This woman is kind enough to make the daughter's death swift and as painless as strangling a child can be. Oh, I left out the best part. His dog, the only other male in the house, his best friend. I cut him. I cut him in a way that only a man could properly cringe at. Now, the meat is prepped, the inciting incident is established, and golden brown. The antagonist, boneless, skinless, bored and seated. Now he just needs to be filleted. No, wait, oh, only what you can see on screen. You can only write what you see on screen. Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was a chef a lifetime ago. Oh, but it's only prepared me for my life now, my real life. Death can be like that sometimes. You know, don't you? Oh! Son of a bitch! Okay, deep breath, Maggie Logan. Deep breath. Keep it together, keep it together. So, Sam is desperate. He doesn't know when the story just might suddenly end. Would the writer actually do that? Or... We should take pleasure in drawing out his torture and his fate. Page 86, plot point two. When this man, this supposed alpha male, shows his true self, his life, so full of regret. Plead. Plead! You know, this shouldn't be confused with the climax of the hero's journey. How dare you? An MBA and the writer's journey does not give you the gift of storytelling. I think there's a reason your scripts aren't produced. Shut it. I am the writer. This is your story. Remember, 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 this is your vision. Damn it! Okay. The, the the wife, the daughter, the dog. Ah. Oh yeah. And, uh, tortured. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and then 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 comes the repenting. Yes. I still have a flair for the dramatic. The writer places a coin over each eye because. She doesn't want to detain his journey to hell. And the best part, the, the trick of this whole thing, is that it's all told through the perspective of... <laughs> I mean, nobody's going to be expecting that. Mm -hmm. What? What? Oh, oh, you want to talk? And then he would have to live. No, the bad guy always dies. How could he be the bad guy? She kills his entire family. <laughs> What? No, I killed your entire family. Sure, 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 sure. But in the story, she's the bad guy. Which, understand me, it totally works. 
<laughs> the audience is gonna love it. So, so you want to write yourself in as my story's hero? Oh no, 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 no. You're the story. I'm the moral barometer. Your sacrifice, my life change. I may be human waste, but I've never crossed that threshold. Okay. Okay. I, I can totally see that. been kidnapped. I don't know where I am. I have it traced. Yes, I know. Laura and Cece are dead. It's terrible. It's horrible. Look, I need a clean shirt. Get Mike DeLuca DreamWorks on the phone. Yeah, this is the summertime hit he's looking for. Melissa, calm down. I'm calm. Come on. Call me as soon as you hear anything.